Hello, everyone inside of Global Freedom Movement. I am so excited to add this additional video into our free group here where you're going to learn about automation plus high ticket equals freedom for Chris and myself, when we learned that we could build our business leveraging uh, online automation, we knew that it was only a matter of time before we reach freedom. And here we are today living our dream life in Cabo San Lucas with our kiddos, getting to enjoy life to the fullest. And it's really all thanks to automation and high ticket. So we're going to dive into the basics of, of incorporating the two together and really just the basics of what that looks like and how you too can leverage automation plus high ticket to reach that freedom state. So um, not only that, I'm going to also show you guys real quick at the end how we do automation. I'm going to show you guys live how we put together what we call as a social media ad. And I'm going to try to do that in five within five minutes so you can see how easy it is and how anybody can do them. So let's dive into this here. Now, you likely have already watched the tax savings video. So some of this is already relatively uh, fresh in your mind, but I really wanted to touch on this slide because it really um, plays a role in running automation with our business. So imagine never trading time for money again. And I truly mean that. Imagine never trading time for money again. Now, if you know our, mine and my husband's backstory or have shared it in some of the trainings prior, we started in low ticket network marketing where we were hosting house parties. We were talking to friends and family. We were befriending every single person we met, neighbors, people at the gym, um, all of that, cold messaging people on social media. And, uh, you know, that in and itself is a full-time job. And at the end of the day with low ticket, we found that the numbers were never going to add up. We were lucky to make $100 per sale. Uh, and the amount of sales that we had to be converting every single month and versus the amount of people we needed to reach out to to even get a yes really meant that if we ever wanted to reach our financial freedom, um, time freedom was never going to be an option for us. But our dream was so big that we wanted time and financial freedom. We continued the search. And when we found high ticket and tied it in with automation, that's what led us to the freedom. So that's what makes us really excited to be able to share that with people. Because if we can do it, so can you. And if you've been in low ticket or in low ticket right now and struggling to make five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month, then this video is definitely for you because when you can incorporate automation and completely eliminate that whole um, prospecting uh, process, life becomes so much easier and stress-free. So the reason why I wanted to use this slide real quick is just to reiterate, um, we always want to be on the right side of this cash flow quadrant. Um, the cash flow quadrant, if you're not familiar with it, comes from the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, where he, hang on one second, I got a gardener cleaning up one sec, sorry. It's gardening day. Okay. So, Robert Kiyosaki came out with a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I recommend every single person, if you're coming into this business or even considering it, to pick up the book if you haven't so already. It really just dives into um, the tax saving side of business, the um, leveraging systems versus leveraging your time, uh, and all just being very financially literate. I definitely recommend picking up this book, but the reason why I wanted to share the class, cash flow quadrant is the focus should always be on how can I be on the right side. Now, when we were in low ticket, what happened was uh, we were constantly trading our own efforts in order to make money. So that employee or self-employed aspect where we have zero leverage, it's always you putting in the work in order to make the commissions. Yes, you do have a team coming in, but that team as well is also leveraging their time in order to make money. So we want to be able to streamline that process as much as possible and help every single person get their time back. So 
Um, the only way that we can really do that is the investor side. So now you're a business owner, you have your Nagic product, you're in business, you're leveraging other people's efforts in order to make money. But now you we're all making so much money or our, our, um, our, um, oh, what's the word? Our profit margins are so high that we can take some of that money from our commissions and go and reinvest it into a $5 a day ad and have those that $5 a day ad go out to people that are looking for exactly what we have to offer, get that offer out in front of them, have them purchase, and then make more money. And now the really cool thing about this is that when we leverage a strategy like this, it's marketing. It's 100% tax write-off. So we're leveraging our commissions to make money, but then we're leveraging the money we made to get our money back in tax savings because it is 100% tax write-off. So we're freeing up our time. We're freeing up our downlines time by showing them these strategies and we're showing them as well how to make a lot of money at doing that, but also put a lot more money back in your pocket. So it's the thing is, would you rather trade your time for money, reaching out to leads continuously, or would you rather leverage systems that work for you that are 100% tax write-off? Again, it's a no-brainer. Um, so let's go into the next slide. I just want to touch on that real quick because for me, it always gets me excited. Any way that we can put more money back in our pocket and put more time back in our day, I'm all for it. So you're probably wondering, how do we run ads? What does that look like? Are we running ads to a Nagic in the water? Well, no, we can't do that. And this is why low, there's two reasons why low ticket sale uh, network marketing can't run ads or there's no reason why they should. One, you cannot post about um, any network marketing in an ad. So there's strategies around it. And I'm going to show people exactly how we do that. But um Secondly, the profit margins are far too low to be profitable. If you're only making $25 to $100 per sale, your profit margins are too low to even be playing with automation. So you want to play big. It's in the high ticket sales where you're okay to invest $100 into an ad to get a sale because with your sale, you're making anywhere from $300 to $4,400 where low ticket, you're putting, if you invest $100 to make a $100 sale, you're coming out making nothing. So what does this look like? How do we do it then if we're not talking about our products? Um, how, like, like, how do we do this? So just to really bring it back to basics, um, we what we do is we create a brand all about the stuff we love. And the way that we do that is we create what's called a Facebook business page. Now I know 95% of people on social media have never heard of this or have never gone to the backside of Facebook before to see what that even looks like. And I'm going to show you guys when I show you the live demo of how to create an ad, but everybody per on Facebook has access to creating a Facebook business page. And then what we call is a Facebook business manager where that we can run ads from it. So when I say create a brand around the stuff you love, I literally mean just that. We don't need to overcomplicate it. If I were to go onto your social media and you're a frequent poster, I could pretty much tell you what your personal brand is already. And basically that is it. What you do is you take your personal content from your personal page and go and put it onto your business page. My personal page looks very much the same as my business page. Now, not everybody wants to share the same content. Some people want to completely separate what their personal page looks like to their business page, and that's fine. But we always want people to stay true to who they are. So if you love your family and you love traveling and you love um, this brand new business that you just started and sharing your journey of the things that you're learning that is your brand that is what you share because why we build a personal brand is to create rapport so that people that we send our ads out to can see our content and learn uh, be no like and trust us right like we put out content so that they feel that they know like and trust us enough to reach out to us so 
it that sounds confusing. There's training to dive into this deeper. I want, just wanted to give you guys the basics of it. We don't run ads specifically to a Nagic because that is a no-no in social media and also with um, all network network marketing businesses. The way that we run our ads is we run it. Um, we create the value in ourselves. We are always going to be our number one asset in life. And so in business, we do the exact same thing. We share the, our value out to the social media world um, and run ads strategically. Digital marketing and running ads is a skill set. And we're going to show you how um, the basics of it. But if you really want to dive into the the next level advancement of running ads, there's definitely training platforms that we can recommend to you that we leverage that you can as well. But also you can just be running the basic ads to our free Facebook group, Global Freedom Movement, and getting people inside of the free group and showing them our mini basic automation here because this enough is converting. Um, we've tried it with other groups before and we've gotten really good results with it. And that's why we created Global Freedom Movement as an easy tool for anyone coming into the business to have that really easy step to start making money right away, getting people in either via organically word of mouth or by running a social media ad. So um, at the end of the day, any influencer in the online space has some sort of financial vehicle that's allowing them to create the lifestyle that they're creating. Very few people um, have millions and millions of followers. If you have millions and millions of followers, you, then you probably have people reaching out to you just to promote a, uh, products here and there, uh, and then they're paying you a kickback on it. But for, if you're a person, somebody like myself, uh, that doesn't have millions of followers. Uh, you don't need to have a huge following to do this. This is the way that we um, create our freedom is we have a financial vehicle that we can refer people to via our content and have them taking a look at it and seeing if it's for them. And if, if so, we bring them into our communities, we mentor them um, and they get involved with that high ticket offer and they start doing the exact same thing. Again, like I said, if it sounds confusing, I it's do not stress about it because we make it so simple for every single person um, coming in that um, don't try to overanalyze how it all works, but be open to seeing how it does work because as you get more hands-on with it, it makes a lot more sense. So what we're going to do here, I just want to quickly touch on this one more time so that everybody really just understands uh, the power of high ticket because, you know, there's so many people in this industry that are so burnt out that have been in the same business for so long because they're emotionally attached to their company. They're emotionally attached to their products. They've talked to so many friends and family about it that they feel like they cannot um, get out and that they're stuck and that they're basically would be cheating if they went to somewhere else. But the thing is, this is business and this comes, this is about the value you want to place on yourself. If you see the value in the water um, and the value in the compensation plan, see the value in yourself of what $4,400 per sale via automation would do for your you and your family's life right? Um, when we were in low ticket, like I said, we were making in anywhere between $25 and $150 and per sale of us reaching out to people individually and trying to get them to come into our business. So we're just going to do a quick contrast here. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to dive into a live demo, which is going to be super exciting because it's going to blow your mind how um, specific we can get to the people that we want to reach out to. So um, with low ticket, you're earning anywhere from five to 150 per sale. So uh, with high ticket, we earn anywhere from 300 to 4,000 plus. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more in-depth training coming out soon of how to hack the compensation plan to the next level where you're earning $4,400 per sale, every single sale. That's a position my, me and my husband are in. So it's really exciting anytime we get a sale, <coughs> a direct sale, because that's more money than I was making after taxes at my job uh, in one month. So low ticket, reinvesting every month to stay active. For me, 
our first three months, we were doing good. We were making a couple thousand dollars in those months. Um, but as the auto shipments kept coming in, people kept dropping because they weren't getting results and they were seeing the money coming out and no money coming in. So they were dropping like flies. We stayed committed to the business for a few years. And when we started looking at the numbers of how much we invested into our auto shipments versus how much money we made, we barely made any money at all. And uh, that was very sad. Very, very sad day. Um, no month or monthly quotas uh, to monthly quotas required to hold ranks. I remember this. And the end of the month was the most stressful time of the month for us where we had to basically beg our family and friends to buy some products or buy products ourselves for our family and friends just so we could hit our rank so we could get a higher commission on any sales that we did make. It was the the worst feeling, the worst desperate feeling in the world. And for me, I never, ever, ever want to feel that again. Yes, it kind of motivates you to make those sales, but it makes you make those sales in a way that's just desperate. And you're looking for quality versus quantity. For me in high ticket, I only want to bring in people that see the vision in this business and are actually going to put in the work, right? Um, and that's something that I've always really loved about making that transition is it's just a completely different ball game that uh, low ticket versus high ticket. It's, you know, it really comes down to the, the, the quality of people that you're bringing in versus the quantity. And the thing is um, with high ticket, uh, you, you just get a higher vibe, um, people that want to play at a higher level because there is an initial investment. It takes someone who's really ready to play big to come into the business. And I love that because then you get to start working with a totally different energy. Um, the constant or selling to friends and family messaging your list of 100. We've already chatted about that. So we're going to leave that um, the 24 seven constant hustle mode of recruit, 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 prospect, prospects, prospect. We're not going to talk about that any further. Um, and low level mentorship versus high level mentorship. Like I kind of just touched on now, like it's night and day. Um, I learned so much from low ticket and, you know, I don't, I would never take that experience back because it showed me just how powerful high ticket is in automation and playing at a high level like that um to from starting there in low ticket was just kind of like for me that entry level that I basically had to go through to experience um and then allow myself to transition to that higher value and really be able to create that freedom it's some people need to have that contrast. Some people do need to go through that low ticket phase first and see that it's not going to work in the long term. Um, you know, if you're struggling to make five to ten thousand dollars in low ticket right now um, and you're spending all your free time reaching out to people, it does not need to be that way. It does not need to be that way. In high ticket, you can make one to two sales and make five to ten K. So um you, there's no needing to make hundreds of sales to make a few thousand dollars. You need to make one sale to make do really well with this business every single month. So um, we're going to dive into, I think that's my last one. Oh, no, my favorite side of all of them. So we're going to, we're going to break this down even more so that you understand. So if you don't understand um, what this all looks like, I actually made a really cool slide that I forgot about it. So we're automating the process. So what we do is we run an ad and I'm going to show you an ad that I'm using right now to run to our free group, which I've never really done before. I've always run them to a tr uh, an automated um, platform that does the full selling for me. But since we've opened up this free group that really gives a lot of that information for free anyways, I thought it'd be a really cool way to build this group and have people have an, a free tool to leverage automation. So right now I'm running a free ad or a, not a free ad. I'm running a $5 ad to our free group and having people that are interested in this group and high ticket sales reaching out to me. And then I can send them a link. If you see that here, sending them a link to join the group and guiding them to the welcome post where they can check out these four videos, this video included. So if you came in through my ad, you're inside of the funnel right now where you 
are watching all these trainings and uh, gonna make a decision if this is for you or not. But the really cool thing about this too is should you come into this business and you want to leverage this group is you can do the exact same thing as me. You can run an ad that's similar to my ad or that's in your own words. You can send the people that reach out to you a link to the group where they go and check out these videos. And then if they align with it, what they see, you make a sale and you get paid. So we're here to help every single person. So throughout this whole process, if you are inside Global Freedom Movement, know you have mentorship between me, myself, and our entire team. If you are bringing people into this free group and they're interested in the business, please reach out to myself or your upline and we will hop on a call and we will help your new lead uh, make a decision if this is the right business for them or not. Like I'm not here to push nobody in any sort of direction, but I'm here to guide people and mentor people to make the right decision for themselves and the goals that they're looking for. So we are here to help you every step of the way. Do not think that you need to make this sale or hop on the call by yourself and try to do that, especially if you're new starting out. We want to provide the right information. And at this point, if you're brand new starting out, we don't want to put that pressure on you of having to do that. We're here for you to help you with that, but you will still get paid. Um, and you will get paid anywhere, depending on where you start, $300 to $4,000 plus per sale. That is the power of online automation. And then we repeat the process. Every time a lead reaches out to us that wants to join, uh, or get more information, we send them the link. They come into our free group. They check out the videos. They love Enagic. They love the compensation plan. They love the tax savings. They love the automation. They buy, you get paid. They bring somebody in. They run an ad. They send a link. They make a sale. You get paid. So it's really, really exciting because this is a way to just help so many people create true time and financial freedom while getting them a product that everybody and their dog needs and also showing them how to get that product essentially for free by getting their tax money back. So it all goes hand in hand. So I'm going to close this off here. I'm going to hop on in a second and do the live. Okay, I'm gonna show you this really, really quick. So we are in the backside of Facebook, the business side where about 90% of people in social media have never even seen before, but they should. If you're spending any time on social media, you should know how to leverage the backside because it's free to have a business page and it's free to have a business manager. The only time you're paying for anything is when you're running ads. And we're gonna show you how to run ads for $5 a day and get your ad out to... Uh, a few hundred people every single day that are looking for exactly what you have to offer. So imagine having to spend that time reaching out to a couple hundred people every single day um, in low ticket where you don't know if these people are interested in what you have to offer or not, but you're going to let leverage automation that's going to figure it out for you. And so we're going to dive into this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click the create button. Some of this is all going to look very confusing because there is, um, you know, this is something you've never seen before. And there's things you need to know about this, but we're going to run something, uh, an ad that's super basic that anybody can do. So um, we're going to go ahead and click engagement for the objective for this ad. So my objective for the ad that I'm going to run is I would like people to send me a message um, that they want to join our free Facebook group to learn about the offer that we have with um, Enagic. So I'm going to click engagement here and it says with engagement, we're going to get more messages, video views, post engagement, page likes or event responses. So we're going to go ahead and continue here. And right here, I'm just going to put test ad just so I know that I'm not actually running this ad. Now, when it comes to um, some of the stuff here, I usually just will leave it exactly how it is. I trust Facebook a lot to have my best interest at heart. So I keep things very basic for the most part. Um, so we're going to leave that and we're going to go click the next button here. And now what we're going to do is, like I said, I want people to message me. So I'm just going to confirm with Facebook that I do want the, uh, my ad to have a button that's going to direct people to send me a message. But you can see here, there's other things, um, com conversions that you can create um, on your ad is having people like it and comment it on it, uh, send it to a website, um, send them to an app, send them to your Facebook page to like your page. But today, like I said, we're just going to have people sending us a message. 
and I'm going to get them to message me in Messenger. So that's already set up and it's will be set up on yours as well. Um, and it's just always confirming that it's going to go to the page that I want to use, mine and my husband's business page, Chris and Andrea. So we're going to go there. And like I said, um, we run $5 a day ads, but to kind of push us um, to the next level a little bit, I usually will go just above $5 because a lot of people will run that are running ads like this are going to run them at $5 a day. So if you want to do it for $5 and change, it puts you in a better position than all the people that are running them at $5 a day. And what that really just means is you are going to get the better pick of the audience that you choose uh, versus somebody who's just running at $5 a day. So, right, it's something very cheap and simple that we can do to put ourselves in a better position. So you can see over here, it's going to say audience definition. Right now it says 25 million to 700,000 to 30 million. That's crazy high. We're going to really narrow it down. But before I do narrow down the audience, as in the people that are going to see this ad, I want to show you the ad that I'm going to create. So we're going to quickly switch the screen here. And we're going to actually create this ad. Now, I actually have this similar ad running right now, and it's doing really good. So I am just want to, um, I'm going to quickly reshare it with you guys, but do it from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to where it says create ad. Now, I could always use an existing post that I have on my business page. But for this, I just want to show you guys how easy it is to create one from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and add some media as in a picture. Um, I like this picture. I like the backdrop. Um, having fun with my kids at the beach down the road from our house. So I'm going to use that one. Um, so I got a uh, pretty backdrop. I think it's a good, I always want to use pictures that I, that people would want that you think would like, right. The, um, that would get engagement on your social media. So you always want to use like a picture that's very captivating for your audience. So um, I just clicked here to brighten up the image a little bit. So Facebook's going to give you some suggestions. I don't want music on mine. I don't want 3D. So I'm just going to leave that. And, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the primary text here. And I've already created an ad. So I just am copying and pasting it. So that's just going to go in there. Now I'm not going to read through the entire thing, but I'm going to touch on a couple um, uh, topics of this ad. So the Holy Grail of Abundant Sales Revealed. I'll never forget um, getting a message from one of my new business partners I was coaching that they just made two sales back to back on their own. When I got that message, I was watching a show with my kids and it hit me that while um, that their two sales, not only did they earn a lot in commission, but I had just earned more than I did working a whole month at my nine to five. Okay, so I'm talking about like, I two indirect sales. I made more money from somebody else on my team making two sales than I did in an entire month at my old job. Um, so that's the power of direct high ticket direct selling. Then I go on to talk about my experience in low ticket um, and my solution to um, the my issue, my struggles with low ticket was finding high ticket and automation. So um, my call to action or what I would like people to send me a message to um, to I to get more info on or to join is a free group. So the group, the global freedom movement that you're likely in if you're watching this video, I'm inviting people on this ad to join our free group. So I'm offering a free group that includes free access to the highest converting ticket, high, the highest converting high ticket offer in the industry, a free 30 minute strategy call with me, free access to our community and lead attraction training and free ultimate tax savings training that everyone needs to know. Comment below, um, and I'll send you a time sensitive link to join our high ticket sales group. So the really cool thing about this is I'm getting people to comment on this ad. But if you remember, I made this ad about messages. I want people to message me and you can see a message button right here. So a really cool hack that you guys can take with you is that when you ask people to comment on a messaging post, Facebook doesn't track that. So you're not being charged when um, you have people commenting. So what happens is when you send a messaging ad, Facebook's going to work really hard to get people to send you messages. But when somebody comments to get that same info, Facebook's not tracking it. So technically it's a free lead, which is really cool. Um, and then what I would do to get somebody to send a message is just write like something catchy, like uh, make... Uh, 
living, enjoying life. Now, I can, probably something a little bit better than that. Trade working hard for working smart probably would be a little bit better. We'll leave it at that for now. Um, you want your entire ad to be in alignment. So this ad, there's me with my kids with a pretty backdrop. Uh, I'm talking about my experience with low ticket, my struggles, my solution being high ticket. And now we're going to go and create an audience for this ad. So this is where it gets really, really fun. So we're going to go back over here. We got our $5 a day ad. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and create the audience. So I am originally from Canada, but I'm going to run this ad to Canada and the United States. So... United States. So this ad is going to go to um, people in my audience that are in Canada and the United States only. Now, as for the age group, there's no real rhyme or reason. Um, for me, I try to pick an age range where people are A, interested in the online space, learning digital marketing or having a business like this, and B, also have are old enough to have money to invest in getting started in the business. So we'll just do it from 25 to say 42. And because it's just me and my kids in this ad or in the picture, I'm going to go ahead and only target women. So women that are ages 25 to 42 in Canada and the United States or the United States. So now what we're going to do is we're going to target the exact person that I think would be interested in this ad. So what I'm going to do now, you can click suggestions or browse, but because I've done these ads so many times, I'm just going to type it in to make it really easy. So because I have my kids in the picture, I'm going to target parents. So parenting is, um, sorry, parents. So parents, all anyone that's got kids, I'm going to target them. Women that have kids. Now, there's a button here to define further. So now I'm targeting parents that are in either direct selling or social media marketing or interested in social media marketing. So that's um, a lot of the times like network marketing. And also because we can't exactly use network marketing, it's not allowed on Facebook. They don't pull up that demographic. Um, one of the ones I like to use is typing in Eric Worre. He has a very powerful book that a lot of people in network marketing have read before called the Network Marketing Pro. So I like to add that in there. Now what you can see is my audience went down to 2 million to 2.4 million. Now, I, what I can do as well is narrow that down a little bit further. And one that I like to narrow down is um, people that are interested in personal development, because when people are interested in personal development, I think they're in the right um, industry to get into network marketing. So, or if they're kind of exploring the options right now, they're looking for a business, but also looking at um, creating the best version of themselves. So, um, Again, just to reiterate this, I'm targeting parents, women that are parents that are interested or or are in direct selling um, or network marketing, basically, that are also into personal development. Now you can see my audience is 1.9 to 2.2 million. And what I'll do is just add in English just to narrow it down because my ad's in English. So we're at 1.8 to 2.2 oh, 2 million. Now, here's the really cool thing. As you can see right here, um, when it comes to conversions, Facebook's for the, the most part is going to say that you're probably, they want you to have a ridiculous audience. So they're going to tell you, I bet your conversions will be zero, which is never the case. But what's going to happen is my ad is going to go to uh, to uh, between 163 people and 475 of those exact people, exact people that are going to see this ad. Uh, women that are ages 25 to 40 that are either interested in network marketing or direct selling uh, and personal development 
that have kids, they're going to see this ad. And if they resonate with this, if they're struggling in low ticket sales, like me and my husband were, and they're looking for a solution and they read this ad that directs them to a free group where they can learn about high ticket sales uh, and join that group for free and learn about it, they're going to reach out. It's a no brainer. So I'm getting my ad literally in front of people that are looking for this solution right now. So, right. I am not having to reach out to people. My ad's going to go out to anywhere from 160 to 475 people every single day for $5, $5. How long would it take you to talk to 163 to 475 people every single day? Uh, in low ticket and hoping that they will join your business. This is the power of the ads. So what happens too is I'm just going to send the link, right? Just like the funnel, I'm going to send them the link, let them know to watch, go to the welcome post, watch the four videos. So if you, um, you are, have seen my, one of my ads and you're inside the funnel right now, Hey, that's so awesome. You're inside the funnel or you're inside one of my team's ads right now. That is freaking amazing. That's the power of duplication. You are experiencing how powerful this truly is because what happens now, not only are we leveraging automation to get, um, our ads in front of the right people that are looking for what we have to offer, but we can leverage a free group that can share this information with those people as well so that you don't have to sit there and try to explain all of this stuff. You can just send them to a group with a community of people already succeeding in this and allow them to see for themselves if this is the right opportunity for them. So really, that's it. Um, what I would do now is go ahead and click publish. Facebook will put it in the add into review. Uh, and once they approve it, it'll start going out to my ideal audience and I'll start getting people reaching out to me and I'm going to send them the link and that's it.